Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. On the big table, I am still set up to make pendants for the Christmas season. These are the blanks I've pulled and this week I'm really gonna do it because last week I didn't do any. So I'm really gonna focus, that's a priority. Swinging around to the other table, I started this magnolia. I've been wanting to do a magnolia for a while, so I really got excited about it. This sort of has to take a back seat to the pendants, but I do want to work on it. And I need to grab this. I picked these substrates up at Target and spray painted them, and I am going to keep them here. They look really fun and easy, so I'm keeping them there as an incentive. If I get all my other stuff done or if I get the pendants done, I will we'll work on those because they look like they're going to be fun and easy. a box of stuff that I ordered from Bone and Glass Designs. She does fused glass things and so I ordered a couple things from her and I just want to open it now. I know what it is but I haven't seen it in person so I'm excited to see what's in here. She, what I ordered, I'll just tell you what I ordered, some strata glass which is Kind of what it sounds like. Ooh! So here's the strata glass. Isn't that great? Striped. And the top is all speckled. So I'm, I really have no idea how I'm going to use it, but it was so pretty I couldn't resist. So her website is boneandglassdesigns.com and she has all kinds of things like these. I might use this in my jewelry this week. Dichroic dots. These are great. I mean, I have some Brit balls, but they're not dichroic Brit balls, and so I can't wait to use those. Here's some more Strata glass. And this one has, uh, she's already chipped away at it, so you can see the different layers, which is awesome. And I don't remember ordering this. This might be a little bonus. Awesome. I can't wait to use these new things. just unboxed all these dichroic fused dots from Lisa Bonin at boningglassdesigns.com and I gotta say I felt immediately inspired by this little thing right there so I think I'm gonna use this bezel and this dot and make something amazing. this new strata glass and I'm going to try doing it with a hammer and hardy so I'm going to use the carbide tip which is what I use for small tea and I'm going to start by cutting in half and in half again I want that stripe so I'm going to go this way That's something I can use, I think. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Now I've got somewhere to start with.
here I am in my studio as we had the remnants of a hurricane or tropical storm blow through last night and so many trees are down. My classes were all canceled because the power is out at the building where I teach. And so I'm like, oh, I have all this bonus time I can work. Unfortunately, my power's out too. So here is my jewelry station in the dark. I can't exactly get anything done. So I'm gonna set up a little table inside near a window where I can see, but I'm not gonna do the jewelry because there's just too much to move. So I'm gonna work on something else, probably the magnolia. That's it. Here's my view from my new setup of the bird feeder out there and the storm damage. Here's my project and my table. I did go ahead and get my broom out because I normally don't work inside and I'm kind of a messy worker. So if I hear anything hit the floor, I can go ahead and sweep because I've got this sweet girl here and I don't want her to be stepping on glass. terrible look at all the glass in there fortunately my dog was not walking over here still blossom mosaic quite a while ago but I never wired the back so real quickly I am going to show you how I wire I've done this before but one thing I haven't done is show you that you want to come one third of the way down and a quick and easy way to get to one third if you have something like eight inches is to just swing your ruler over until you hit nine which is easily divisible by three and then mark same on the other side and then just draw a line across. In this case, I'm gonna come in a half inch. That's where my pilot holes will go. Here is another small mosaic that I made a while ago. So I'd never put a D-ring on the back, but I do wanna maybe put it in a Christmas market and have let people have the option of hanging it on the wall. And this time, instead of wiring it with two, I'm just going to put one on the back like that and they can hang it that way. So I'm gonna talk a minute about the D-rings. I ordered this whole pack online and it came with screws and D-rings, but this piece in particular, here's something that's pretty important. I have to make sure that the screw is going to not be too long and this one is too long it would pop the glass off or the front if i screwed that screw in and so i have a couple other screws here and i can just check and see if they are too long or not if it through this one also doesn't go all the way but would would pop through and push the glass off so one option you have is to put a washer between the D-ring and the base to, to pull it out a little bit further. But I do have these little teeny short screws and I think that is the way I'm going to go. It doesn't go all the way through. It's not gonna pop the glass off. It's still gonna hold the this very light mosaic. I have popped through the glass on the other side and it's very irritating because then you have to repair it. Let's see. Now someone can hang it on a wall if they want to. All done.
that's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.